works for you starts now. This year, you'll see a nativity scene at the state capitol in Lansing. And because of that, you'll also see something very different. The satanic temple is being allowed to create its own holiday display this year. And as Fox News' Dave Spencer shows us, not everyone is happy that the devil is getting equal time. Surrounded by demons, skulls, and other symbols, the people who worship at the satanic temple in Detroit are used to being questioned and misunderstood. We really try to um, provide rational insight wherever um, the satanic voice might benefit. That is exactly why they're doing what they're doing, creating their own version of a holiday display to be seen on the steps of the state capitol in Lansing. It's a point in time or a very important time to remind legislators and, and to provide um, you know, and empower people who have perhaps beliefs that are not mainstream, that this is um, an opportunity at a time to have your voice be heard and to, um, and to make sure that, that we're all aware that this is a diverse um, community that we live in. Getting to this point with the sculpture was no easy task. The artist had to follow a 50-page rule book outlined by the state before this sculpture could ever be installed in front of the Capitol. That means it had to meet certain height requirements, certain length requirements, and certain width requirements, all of which this sculpture does meet, so it will be on display soon. It seems like they already were kind of tweaking the rules um, with people like us in mind. The idea behind it is to get people talking about various types of religions and beliefs. The holidays are always a time, or, or tend to be a time where families and friends come together in conversation, and that perhaps this time of year it's best to to involve conversations about divergent beliefs or um, about some, you know some larger thing, context that's going on right now in America. The display won't be welcomed by all. This is strange. Christmas is being hijacked by Satan. Um, I understand that there is uh, liberty, religious freedom. Uh, you have the right to freedom of speech. But, you know, there are limits to how rights are to, supposed to be exercised. Some question the timing of the installation. Why does it have to be Christmas? I don't think it's a coincidence that um, this particular group of, um, I guess, free thinkers, atheists, Satanists, have picked the Advent season, have picked the month of December, picked December 21st through the 23rd to erect a symbolic uh, expression of their value and worship of Satan. I don't think this is a coincidence at all, um, and, and I think it's deplorable. I, I, I think that it is um, unseemingly, and, and that is really bad manners. Would you feel the same way if it was a nativity scene or anything of that effect? No, I think a nativity scene is appropriate during Christmas uh, because, of course, there is a long tradition of tying Christmas to the birth of Christ. It's it's Christmas. It's holidays. It's it's a multiple multiple people celebrate this time um, because we all have you know work off. We all have um, you know everybody visits each other and and it's it's a reason to celebrate. Um, and everybody chooses different ways to celebrate celebrate that. But having you know one singular view, especially coming from um, uh, from the capital, um, you know promoting one singular view is is extremely narrow minded. The people of the Satanic chapter of Detroit say they embarked on this project after hearing about a plan for a church installing a nativity scene, a plan they say has been abandoned by the church. This installation will be on display for three days starting the 21st. In Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Of course, the satanic display has a lot of people talking on the Fox 2 Facebook page tonight. Jason writes, the war on Christianity is alive and well. They won't stop until Satan replaces God in every way. They are truly evil. And Andrea says, freedom of religious expression goes both ways, and I choose to mind my own business and just ignore the things I don't like. It's easy. People should try it. Shane writes, this is why the separation of church and state is a thing. If you don't like this, then you understand how anyone who doesn't agree with you feels when they see nativity scenes set up on government property. And Jesse says, the Capitol is full of satanic worshipers, if you ask me. So I don't care. I believe in Jesus, regardless of what's going on at the Capitol. Of course, you can always join the debate. Just head to our Facebook page, Twitter, or MyFoxDetroit.com.